Welcome to the podcast is dedicated to making you a faster cyclist or triathlete. That's the cycling coach <laughs> podcast presented by trainer road. I'm coach Jonathan Lee. We have our head coach, Chad Timmerman, Hi, everybody, and a stand in right now. Nate mm-hmm. had to catch a flight to go to the Chicago marathon Darn. for his wife. <laughs> <laughs> so we have crit racer, Pete Morris yes. from cliff bar racing and also trainer road employee. Because who else would we have to talk about triathlon than a crit racer? Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a very special guest with us today, Nate Zarlango from Salt Lake City, Utah. Correct. Kona qualifier. Congratulations. Yep. Thank you. World championship. Uh, pretty amazing, man. Thank uh, you. Yeah. We'll talk about how you qualified, and then we'll talk about everything else that you do and how you fit training into your life, and then what you're going to do on race day. Okay. Uh, so thanks for joining us Thank here. you. And mm-hmm. Pete's hair is as glorious in person <laughs> as you think it is. It's true, it's true everybody. <laughs> it's great. Yep, it's great. Uh, so, Nate, how long have you been doing triathlon? Uh, about nine years, eight, eight, nine years. Okay. Um, yeah, 2007. What made you get eight. into it? Um, my, I had a just an old uh, mountain bike, and it got stolen out of the back of my truck. So I got some insurance money from it. It was only like $500 in insurance. So I went and bought a Costco mountain bike. Nice. With for, for 200 bucks and then I got my wife a mountain bike as well and uh we had some friends that did a little triathlon and we're like, "Hey, let's do a little mini sprint triathlon." And so we went is a three is a 300-yard swim and then a 6-mile bike or something and then a 3-mile run. Um and I didn't train for the swim at all. <laughs> so I was like, nice. if you can bike, you can, if you can bike and run, okay. Um, you can swim 300 yards. And then, <laughs> sure. so I lined up at the front of the swim. Cause I was like super cocky. Like, ah, I got this. Yeah. The first lap I ended up choking in some water. We're talking like 20 yards down <laughs> in front of everybody. Like everybody's cheering you on. They're like, Oh, Whoa, this kid's in trouble. Yeah. I literally had to grab onto the, uh, the lane line and pull myself down the down the lane, oh. and then I dog paddled the rest of the 300 yards. Wow! So, and then uh, I ran or the bike. I got passed by a 12 year old nice. on, on a on a road bike, <laughs> and then the run. I took a wrong turn and <laughs> like cut like three quarters of the course off, and then I had to start the run over again. It was a disaster, Good complete day. disaster. And, wow. And it was love at first sight, yeah. obviously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. I'm hooked. So you did, so you did more. Yeah. yeah. And then just gradually progressed into the everything else, the sprint and Olympic distance, and then stepped up to the half. I was like, if I can do a half, I can do a full. Nice. And then Why not? I, I like where your head's at. Yeah, yeah. So I did uh, Coeur d'Alene in 2016. No, 13. Um, and then 2016, I did Boulder and then 2019 was the Boulder again. And then I've done handful of halves okay. know, St. George a few times so and three full distances. Yeah. Three full distances. And then this cone will be my fourth and then, yeah, probably f- I think four or five halves. Okay. So, hmm. so that's where you qualified at Ironman Boulder. Yep. Uh, nine fifty ten. Yep. For the total time. Yep. The sub, sub 10. 10. Sub 10. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, swim was 115 18. Your bike was 442 48, blistering fast. Yeah. Uh, so you must have gotten a new bike, not on the mountain bike from Costco. Correct. Anymore, I, I did yeah. end up getting a tri bike. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Got a custom fit and everything. Uh, nice. Nice. We'll go into all that. That'll be good. Uh, 342 45 for the run. And I think that you placed pretty well overall, right? At that race? Yeah. Fifth. Uh, yeah. I was fifth place. That's um, impressive. And then the, the biggest thing is I was first in my age group on the bike. That's awesome. That's with two mechanical failures where I, my chain dropped, I was on a hill and I dropped my chain and it, my foot slipped and out out of this whole entire stretch, I mean, it's like a five mile stretch of road and there's a hill. There's one guy out ringing a bell, you know, he's cheering on and, Mm -hmm. and I fell right at his feet (laughs) out of the whole entire course. I fall right at this guy's feet and I'm like, and he's, he's like trying to help me up and he, he, helps me up and then i try to get back in and i miss like my chain didn't grab it was out of no. out of gear and so i ended up you know falling again falling again oh. mm-hmm. and i broke my water bottle my water bottle broke split open and then my cage on my back ended up cracking and falling down between my frame and my tire oh Oh. And then I got back on and I, I couldn't go. I was like pushing like 500 watts up this hill. I was like, oh, this is, what's going on? I thought my brakes yeah. were rubbing. 
So I got back off. I had to look and I saw that it was jammed in. Luckily, I had I, I watched a lot of MacGyver. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I had some nice. like, extra electrical tape and <laughs> um, Swiss Army knife and whatnot. No. <laughs> um, so I wrapped wrapped up my bottle cage just good enough to hold it. Yeah. <laughs> just, just and then um, that took all that took about two or three minutes yeah. just to figure out yeah. and then get back on pace and get going. So I, even with that, I, I would have been down in the four thirty, like the late four thirty nine, thirty eight, if I, yeah. you know, sure. hypothetically yeah. I would have done that. But that is a fast bike split. Yeah. yeah. So it was 0.8 or 0.81 or so. So IF and normalized power was two twenty. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the first lap was, Normalize it was probably two thirty, yeah. and then the second lap I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna pay for this." <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then the average power was about two overall two ten. Wow. Um, yeah. So my point my eight, uh, yeah. F is high. Yeah, my VI was I think it was like one point oh one or yeah, really close, close somewhere yeah. in there. Yeah. But, so yeah, so I didn't fluctuate very much, but I did pay for it on the second lap, of course. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, backed off. I intentionally backed off. Kind of what kind of had to. And yeah, then, how'd you feel on the run? Um, well, I do a lot of bricks. Okay. Um, I practice I, in my pain cave. I've got tra- my trainer road set up with yeah. Netflix <laughs> and then I've got uh, a treadmill right next to it. Nice. I've got a nice heavy duty Landis, uh, nice. L8, like the heavy duty yeah. brick one. And it's, it's fantastic. Um, so I just probably every, every time I do trainer road, I'll jump off and do at least a 15 to 30 minute run oh, wow. yeah. um, just make time for it so you're very so, practiced at running off the bike yeah so I, it felt i i know that the first mile sucks no matter what um and then i know after that it'll come how it, around how it actually um, feels right? yeah yeah so nice. so are you let's actually let's go into your a bit of information on you so okay. about 277 ftp yeah right uh you're about 138 pounds yep. which comes out to about 62.5 kilograms uh, which puts you at 4.4 watts per kilogram. That's really, really high. In mm-hmm. fact, amongst all the athletes that we've interviewed, it might be the highest power to weight ratio we've seen. Oh, sweet. Um, nice. But granted, <laughs> you're also smaller. Yeah, right? I'm tiny. So as a yeah. result, your threshold's just lower. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're five foot seven inches, which yep. is about 170 centimeters as well, um, to give people an idea. So you're smaller, thusly. Yeah, you know, you have that. I'd be really curious to see your CDA. CDA. That's right. The same thing. Yeah. I bet your CDA is killer, like uh-huh. really low drag. Okay. Have you done anything to refine the position? Anything yeah, like I got a, a professional. Fit. I've been fit twice professionally. Um, yeah, the um, they put the measurements on you, and and I just got it readjusted about uh, six months ago. Was that like um, an? Was that like any sort of like aerodynamics involved in it, or were they just trying to put you in an aero position? It was more of just an aero position? position. I haven't done yeah the CDA testing or aero testing or anything, but um, I feel extremely comfortable. And where'd yeah. you go for your last fit that you got? Uh, the University of Utah. They oh. have, there was a uh, Italian doctor, some guy. That sounds that, nice. Yeah. Anytime that Italian doctor yeah, is involved, like, yeah. you're like, "Yep, sign me up." Yeah, yeah. And I'm Italian, <laughs> so we got the mafia involved. And that sounds way better than just going to a local bike shop. Yeah, <laughs> right. Like, a little bit. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, oh, that makes sense. Uh, so let's get into a bit of what you do for your job and and your family life okay. and everything else and we have some context uh what what's your what's your career path i do uh, construction management for kroger uh it's our smiths in utah and surrounding states uh mm-hmm. i hire the general contractor uh, for any remodels or new construction of our, our grocery stores okay and then i also build fuel centers or gas stations for smiths okay um so i just i manage the general contractor process i just hire them and order equipment and then oversee that whole process it's is this mostly behind a desk or are you yeah on, on your feet yeah. a lot and then i go out and visit the job sites and um do inspections okay. quality yeah. control so some travel yeah yeah, I, yeah. I, I traveled to six surrounding states from from utah how many how many days a month do you travel uh i uh, probably four okay four days a month but bad. um but they're usually day trips because a lot of them are to vegas and you can get um, you know a quick gambling trip in, yeah, and <laughs> spend some money. <laughs> yeah, go, I mean, make some money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you ever go to Reno? N- no, no, I don't think there. Do we have a Smith's in Reno? There's, there's a Smith's like, yeah. like like two okay. minutes from the trainer road. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're actually, I think we're remodeling one down there. Um, that might be the ins- one. Yeah, we s- should come inspect it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> um, but overall, like time wise, it's really consistent. So it's um, good hours. It allows me to train um and i just get make sure i get my work done <laughs> yep and 
I got a great, great career and it's awesome. Yeah. It's consistent is what I flexible hours. Yeah. Flexible hours. And I can work from my phone or home if I absolutely need to. Okay. Yeah. How many hours do you usually put in? Every week, working of, or yeah, working, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, say, we'll, training soon. we'll say 40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just say that the solid, you know, 40 hours is got it. So it's a, it's a great, consistent office job. Okay. Yeah. So, how do you fit in training? And actually, your family first. Yeah. Uh, so, my wife works uh, full time as well from home okay. uh, with an air with uh, SkyWest Airlines. Okay. Um, not booking travel. <laughs> she, she works, yeah, she helps develop the software that they use. Um, cool. So, yeah, great consistent life at home. Um, she's very supportive, um, so it allows me to train like consistently, and I think that's the biggest thing for me. Yeah, I don't know how the freaking the pros do it is like <laughs> traveling so much and going to yeah races mm-hmm. all the time and getting out of that groove of you know your your good meals at home and having to eat out and figure out what you're going to eat. That's that's tough, but yeah. How many kids do you have? I got three boys, eight and- eight or eleven. It's his birthday today, my 11 year old. So happy birthday, buddy! <laughs> uh, and then an eight year old, and then a four year old. Wow, nice. boys! So, oh, so that's, that's still it. like you know, four years old. That's still a lot of work. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's there, not a lot of yeah, that, right. But I love it because I can go downstairs. They can come down, watch a show on Netflix with me. You mm-hmm. know, While you train SpongeBob or whatever they want to yeah. watch. I'll watch it with them. Yeah, and then. Um, you know, I play. I even play catch with them <laughs> with the balls. <laughs> yeah, they'll, yeah, they'll try and play catch with me when I'm not looking. Um, <laughs> yes. Keeps you on your toes. I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's called catch. Yeah. <laughs> catch, yeah, yeah. Dad. Yeah. Um, but it's great. And so, so I can how do just... you fit in training around that? Uh, actually, first, what's your training volume? Typical training volume. You could. It could either be leading up to Kona or Boulder. So Boulder, I was wound extremely tight, um, and I knew volume works for me. Mm-hmm. Um, over intensity yeah. uh, i know i believe in higher intensity too but for me i know volume works i'm mm-hmm. self-coached uh-huh. um, on everything i do um, other than i consider you guys my personal coaches because <laughs> yeah, you follow is, the trainer plans, yeah it's right? seriously it's, I, you can personalize it and it's yeah. i think it's better than a coach yeah um and then so i'll do my build up to boulder i, I consistently stayed around 18 hours uh, mm-hmm. a week 16 cool. to 18 was cool. just like big weeks. consistently. So that about 200 miles biking, um, 40 to 50 miles running, and then around 10,000 yards swimming. Wow. Um, and so then I... How much were you, I guess, were you following the trainer road plans and then like adding stuff in or how are you laying out your training? Yeah. So I followed the uh, the base build and specialty phases, Sweet. Uh, pretty, of the full distance. Yeah. Right? The full distance, uh, on the, on the base, I think I just did traditional if I remember. Got it. Um, cause I, I do, like I said, I like the little more volume and mm-hmm. I have the time. Yeah. I was so say. I was like, I can just, I can wake up, you know, four thirty or five, no problem. And get an hour and a half, two hour ride in no problem. Right. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, make sure I get those longer rides in and then swim at lunch. Uh, cause there's a, a couple of fitness centers right close to where I work and nice. then um, run at night or bike again or whatever wow. I need to do. So. so in the morning you bike and then probably run cause you, yeah, I, you do bricks. Yeah. Yeah. I do at least a fifth, 20 to 30 minute brick run. Okay. Just an easy. And then you swim at lunch Yep. and then you ride or run again at night. Yeah. Yeah. The two day running sometimes is, is really beneficial for me. Huh. I find it a lot easier to mentally get two four mile runs in than one eight mile, it's like, or yeah. you know, two five miles instead of like, oh crap, I got to go do a ten mile run. Yeah, like, oh, that's that's pretty tough. But two yeah. five miles is like, okay, it takes me 35, 37 minutes. You know, I can yeah. do that pretty easily. Fit it in easily. Yeah. So it, it, I assume, like, do you do some of that training once the kids go to bed? Or yeah. Like, so man, that's a long day. <laughs> it is. How but do that's, you sleep? <laughs> yeah, fine. I, yeah, I'll get. I bet um, you're tired. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel fine. Like I get. Seven and a half, eight hours. Okay, pretty consistently. Wow. Um, you just you just are way more efficient than all work. the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do hang out with my wife too. I I don't yeah. neglect her. Like she'll come out and run run on the treadmill at night with me too. Um, nice. n- not together. Yeah, yeah. you guys <laughs> alternate steps yeah. or uh, I run right behind her. Yeah, yeah, 
<laughs> or do the tandem on a bike. I don't know if that would work. <laughs> that would be interesting. Dude, yeah, that's a good FTP test. Yeah. Yeah. Tandem trainer road workout. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We Ooh. can set some PRs. We should for sure. set one up in the office. Yeah, definitely. Ramp, Pete and I should do the ramp test. Yeah, yeah. Yes. that would be, be awesome. Yeah, that'd be a good video. People watch that for me. <laughs> so, when fitting all that in, have you found something to help yourself get to sleep quickly? Because one mm-hmm. thing that we hear from a lot of people is like when they train late at night, mm-hmm. it's hard to. And I'll use kind of like a, in specific terms of rev down or kind of calm your system down so that you can actually get to sleep. What do you do to help Or do you just that? keep the intensity low for those later workouts? Yeah, just, it's usually lower intensity. Okay. But still, yeah, it's a, I put the kids, we have a pretty good routine about bedtimes at 7.30. You know, then we'll do story, song, you know, yeah. a little prayer mm-hmm. and whatever with them. And then um, usually they're in bed by 8.15 so I can get on by 8 30 and do you know an hour ride uh, so i'm done by 9 30 and then in bed by 10 so yeah um and then 10 to 10 to 5 10 5 30 getting back up <clears throat> so just very disciplined mm-hmm. but to, yeah i don't do anything special i just i guess just exhaustion yeah <laughs> pure and simple <laughs> <laughs> having three kids and yeah. yeah and working out that much but i i had the sole goal to qualify for cone i was going all in for this like yeah i was like i'm not gonna look back and say i should have trained more i should have done this like i look back and i say i trained as much as i could i gave everything that i could for this race mm-hmm. and i did it yeah so awesome. i just yeah. i went all That's in awesome congrats you were yeah. thank you <laughs> thank you cool. yeah it's amazing uh, top of the top for sure uh so we should we get into probably the race week chad you reckon yeah. uh so let's start with nutrition what do you typically eat like uh, what sort of diet do you stick to are you like high carb low fat or I should forgive me high carb or high fat low carb whatever how do you structure it and figure that out my wife is 100 percent keto purely okay. keto. like she follows right. it she does the ketone tests um, uh-huh. with the blood and, and um so just a consequence of that in the last uh year and a half uh-huh. um my diet has uh dwindled significantly in carbs to probably yeah. less than 100 grams of carbs mm-hmm. a day for me wow, wow. Um, do you measure your ketones also? I have, she's just curious. So she has tested a few times and I've been in ketosis. Okay. Um, which is kind of cool. Like I didn't, yeah, I just kept my diet lower in carbs, Uh um, and, and cut out the easy sugars and the Coke. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, I've been in ketosis. And so when she tested that, I was like, oh, this is how it feels. You know, you kind of, it it feels like when you fast Mm -hmm. for you know, a day or whatever, yeah. that, that feeling. So I'm like, okay, this is what it feels like. So now I know, you know, I'm going off of ketones. And so it's, I'm not, I'm not key, um, keto diet, but I am lower carb. Right. Um, so I got that, uh, metabolic flexibility. How do you um, balance all the training you do with that? Do you like cycle in carbs or yeah, just, just, I just keep it lower carb. Um, yeah. I find I do better off of, I mean, I'm not, yeah, I'm not strict. I right. still, what, what's like your pre, Pre morning workout or post morning workout? What do you do? Uh, so if morning workouts are always fasted. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'll, I'll just have a regular dinner um, and then a fasted. I'll drink. I, I drink some beetroot powder and, and alt red capsule and um, that's it. And mm-hmm. then ride. Do usually it's about an hour and a half. And then I'll just have uh, eggs and bacon. Yeah. And that's my breakfast. Mm-hmm. And then I, that gets me to lunch. Mm hmm. And then what do you typically, and sorry, this seems like very no. detailed, but what do you typically eat for lunch then? Um, usually, uh, like, uh, salami and cheese. Yeah. Or, mm-hmm. I mean, it's pretty, it's still low carb. It's, you know, I might have a sandwich, um, but it's, it's yeah. usually just, it's yeah. Meat and, and cheese. And where do most of your carbohydrate carbohydrates come from then? Uh, yeah, I guess just maybe some fruit, just yeah. some some fruit, but it is it's really low. I guess. Yeah. Ve- vegetable intake. Yeah, I still eat vegetables, and okay. and, fr- and I'm not high on the fruit, but I still eat the fruit and mm-hmm. you know, consistent vegetables. But so not a lot of grains, not a lot of yeah, like bread, I, pasta, rice, not a lot. Yeah, of it, pasta especially not. Um, not if we have if my kids have it, I'll take a few bites, but mm. nothing crazy. I'm not I'm not extreme on one end or the other, but I just right. I'm lower carb. For sure, um, I'm flexible both ways, but I it's mostly keeping out of the sugars, the yeah. the coke, you know, that your sodas and your your candy. Yeah. I just stay away from 
the obvious stupid stuff. Right. Know, fried foods. I know if I was going to poke, poke <laughs> at Nate if he was here, his, his Popeyes. But, yeah. So just stay away from the stupid yeah. stuff, you know. Yeah. When you get into a race week like this, do you change your diet at all? No. Just I keep mean, it the same? Yeah, pretty well, pretty simple. What do you eat the night before? Uh, usually usually it is it is pasta. And yeah. uh, I've, because I've been doing that for years, just uh, like Alfredo and, and chicken. Okay. It's pretty typical. Or, and you don't have any problem with that? No. Intestinally? No. no. Yes, yeah, so you are flexible. Yeah. My, I have a pretty good stomach. I haven't had, well, uh, several years in, in my first couple of races, I found out that uh, you shouldn't be drinking on the course. They give out Coke mm. and Red Bull. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And then after the race, they give out chocolate milk. Mm-hmm. So if you, if you want to see something very interesting, YouTube, what happens if you mix chocolate <laughs> milk and Coke? Huh. It curdles within minutes. No time. Oh, really? So if you're drinking Coke for two or three hours on the run, you go yeah. pour milk on and top then you're of like, it. "Hey, let's get some chocolate milk for recovery. <laughs> yeah. This will be fun." And your gut just goes. Oh apart. man, yeah, it was cleaning me out. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. fast. So pretty bad. So that, that was my gastrointestinal intestinal mm-hmm. stuff that I figured out. Like, oh, I need to stop drinking chocolate milk right after, and, and I stopped drinking the Coke on on course huh. too. So now I just. EFS is my go-to, okay. So, okay. and that is a high carb yep. um, drink. So during the race, is my yep. EFS and, and CR three thirty three. Okay, is, is what carb I use. rocket. Yeah, carb rocket. So CR thirty three. Yeah, so those are both high in high in carb mm-hmm. um, and do potassium. You, and do you ever train with those? Yeah, I do. Okay, um, on anything over an hour and a half. If I do an hour and a half or more, mm-hmm. um, but if it's an hour, it's just water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you are, uh, let's go into race morning, actually. Okay. What do you have for <clears throat> breakfast or what are you planning on having for breakfast? Uh, so I'll have, I will have oatmeal and I, when I do my longer rides, like the three, four hour rides, I'll do oatmeal. Um, and then I will have, uh, some I'll have eggs and bacon mm-hmm. and then pancakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will all like all stuff as much as I can in the morning. Banana. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, EFS beetroot powder, um, uh, it's called Beetroot Pro, um, which is based out of Utah. Um, okay. it, it's a, it tastes awesome, other than just regular beetroot yeah, powder. Yeah. 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 It's kind of hard to choke down, but this, the Beetroot Pro is really tastes really good. Huh. Um, and then, yeah, so I'll just I'll stuff as much as I can at right. about three three in the morning. When you're getting ready for the swim, are you going to actually? Yeah, what time are you going to get up for this one? Uh, probably two thirty. Two thirty. Yeah. Really. To get yeah. Bright and early yeah. to eat, yeah. get that the breakfast in, and then, and then and then clean out. You know, yeah, yeah, of get, course, get your, yeah, yeah. Get your bathroom time in. Make yeah, sure the nerves get get out. And mm-hmm. but so, what time are you going to go to bed then? Yeah, it'll probably be probably ten or eleven. Okay, yeah. yeah so you'll come in with very minimal sleep the yeah. night of. But last night, like I always, I I know last night was my important night, but. I had some other is- things that happened yesterday that, we'll go I, was, into that. You know, I was pretty <laughs> exhausted from emotionally that, <clears throat> so I, I was, I was out by about eight, eight o'clock last night. Yeah. Um, slept till about six this morning. So oh, good. I knew that yeah. like, that's my important night to get my rest mm-hmm. and, and I slept, I slept okay. Um, other than a little bit of pain. Um, so tonight I don't, I don't stress out. I know I'm going to stress out, yeah. but I don't stress about, about my sleep. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm like, if I get four hours of sleep, I don't, I don't care. I can't imagine there's a single athlete here right now that's going to get a good night's right. sleep tonight. Right. Yeah. And you know, <laughs> not a single right. one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, not a, you can, when you go down to the expo, race village, everything else, you feel like we are noticing it today. It's, it's changed. It's a different vibe. Yeah. From the past few days, it's oh, yeah. been like fun and like everyone's loving it. And then today, it's like nervous. Game faces. Mm-hmm. You're feeling it. Yeah. Yeah. It's very different. Yeah. 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 So what are you going to, are you going to be taking in anything or sipping on a drink or having like caffeinated gel, something like that before the swim? Uh, EFS, I'll just sip on some EFS okay. prior. Um, I don't take caffeine before the swim because uh, I don't like my heart rate that high on the swim mm-hmm. um, and it seems to <laughs> panic me a little it's bit. It's already going to be that high. <laughs> yeah, it is. So I'm like, I don't need it. So when I get off the bike, I had my, the carb rocket, uh, the CR has uh, some caffeine in it and that's my first uh, front drink okay so i'll take that down in the first hour and then halfway through um i'll at about mile 40 or 50 i'll take in a, a 200 milligram caffeine pill okay and then i'll sip on cr a little bit throughout the rest of the day cool. or throughout the rest of the bike and then efs um so nice. my caffeine my caffeine will mainly come from the the pill yeah and then cr mm-hmm. interesting so 
uh, what sort of uh, wetsuit do you? Or I guess it's not a wetsuit swim, right? Yeah, um, it's just so. a speed suit, the Roca Viper. Cool. It, it's yeah, a couple years old, but. And any goggles preference or goggle preference? For yeah, you? the Roca. I've got a big old face, so I had to get the Roca, <laughs> like the swim mask. It's like as big as <laughs> like a diving mask, but. <laughs> Um, yeah, the other ones, the smaller ones just hurt my head. And so I got, got the it. big one, the Roka X, I think is what they're, what mm-hmm. they are. Cool. Uh, going into the bike, I guess we can jump into that now. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, so first <laughs> things first, before we get into the bike, we just talked about what happened yesterday. Uh, so you mentioned that, uh, you actually got in a car accident here, right? Or yeah. I should say uh, on your bike. Someone, yeah. Someone ran you down. Yeah. Yeah. What I saw. Yeah. yeah. So explain, mm-hmm. explain what happened and uh, the status of you. <laughs> and your bike yeah so i was doing my bike check i, I shipped my bike over from uh tri bike transport uh which is great pretty stress-free um other than paying a whole other airline ticket for it yeah. on its own seat first class <laughs> um got snacks. yeah <laughs> yeah got treated better than i did in economy yeah um still a great service uh so they i picked that up uh brought it home i changed out my chain um which i, I waxed my chain um put the little fairy dust on it what sort of wax did you use it's the um it's the molten speed wax mm-hmm. yep um so i do like three or four chains at a time i have a couple of race chains and it's, mm-hmm. it's kind of a pain yeah but if you do it do a couple of them at a time it's not as bad <laughs> yeah we know that we know all too well. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah their chains probably hanging up in the office right <laughs> and not even yeah, yeah six of them <laughs> or eight of them yeah yeah they're, they're all nates <laughs> yeah, so, they're, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> yeah what the fairy dust uh, I think it's, it's like a graphite, graphite that you yeah. okay. sprinkle on yeah. top gotcha. once you put it on. Just yeah. with the wax chain, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 It's supposed to give you a few extra watts, yeah. what they say. Hey, yeah. for Kona Day, why not? Right. I'm like, and I use one extra watt. It's yeah. Perfect. I was like, for, yeah, I'll take it. Whatever. Yeah. If it doesn't work, I'm out 20 bucks. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so I was, I got that on, um, got my, my race kit on, um, had, had my race set up. So I, I head out on a Lee drive. And if you've never been here, it's, it is narrow. I mean, yeah, it is crazy. Elite is a madhouse. Yeah. And it gets worse every day. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's, I mean, literally hundreds of athletes training on this road. Running and running, riding. Running riding and riding. Both directions. And there's walkers. And, and there's cars parked on both sides of the road. Yep. So there's cars in the road. There's not enough room. Yeah. But there's, so there's an going. actual designated lane, which is nice. Yeah. There is. At least there's, there's that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but still, just driving it's super sketchy yeah so i'm going down and i was like oh yeah it's 20 minutes i was gonna go down 10 minutes and back up 10 minutes <laughs> yeah. um just just to shake out my chain make sure everything was shifting um you know open up my legs just a little bit um and i, I stayed out of the arrow position completely I was smart like, I, um, mm-hmm. and it was pretty windy too pretty gusty yeah um but i was like i'm not chancing any of this so i was super careful yeah uh get down turn around and then i come back um and there's uh, this lady started to she passed me and then took a right right in front of me and i t-boned her Oof. um i had it's amazing how many decisions go went through my mind within in an instant i mean a matter of i mean milliseconds i yeah. locked up my brakes um and skidded and I started to lean forward and i hit her car i put out my left elbow hit her car i did i because if i went left i would went into traffic uh if i would have stayed straight uh would have hit her back like hit her straight on if i would have went right i would have went over this uh rock wall into some electrical boxes <laughs> so all those decisions i was like okay what am i gonna do so i, I went turned in with her at the same time kind of lanced off the side of her car and somehow hooked her door handle and ripped her door handle completely off her passenger door. Jeez. I mean, go out and try to rip your <laughs> car <laughs> handle off. Yeah, that's yeah, it, it was a lot of force. Did and your bar catch it? What? I don't know. Huh. I don't know if yeah, something caught it. It must have been my brake. Yeah. My brake was Wrenched. my brake handle. It so must have been. Yeah. And somehow there's a tire mark like five or six inches down from the bottom of her window. Oh yeah. So like my tire went up on you her car. In yeah. up. Or yeah. my face, I don't really remember. <laughs> but um, so I, I ended up, yeah, hitting the left side with my car or with my with my body, and then uh, fell over on my right side, uh, slid a few feet, hit my head, um, and then land. The brunt of it took on my right hip, my right knee, and then my shoulder uh, got jammed in. Um, How's your mobility in your shoulder? It, it hurts. It's it. 
it's probably one of the only mornings I'll be able to wake up and say, man, I literally feel like I've been hit by a truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, this is literally. Yeah. yeah. Um, at the time, I was fine. Like, I felt fine. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. the paramedics were like, okay, probably tomorrow you're going to be pretty stiff. Um, so if you need to go in and get checked, you probably should. Whatever. I was like, I, I'm fine. I'm okay. Um, but yeah, this morning I woke up and I was, I was stiff and like the whiplash because my Yo, head yeah, hit. So my, yeah, the left of my neck and like my back shoulder is, pretty stiff um but i'm way more emotional about it oh yeah Mm -hmm. yeah i bet like my legs are shaky i still feel kind of just shaky from it it's yeah i'm because i've never really been in an an accident before so i'm just really jittery and and it was just the thought that you know i'm you know i could have been done you know not going home like the, the whole kona thing didn't the race didn't even matter for yeah. that few seconds, I was like, I might, I might not see my kids, you know? Yeah. So at that moment, you're like, everything goes into perspective pretty quick. Yeah. Um, so you reckon you'll yeah. be okay for the race? Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to, yeah, yeah. I, it's going to happen no matter what. I went and did a, a swim this morning and, uh, it was pretty, <laughs> the best word is, is magical or yeah. ther- it was very therapeutic. Mm-hmm. Um, good. There was a, a, I don't know if you call them a fleet or a, a group or of dolphins. Oh, There's like cool. six yeah. six dolphins. Oh, wow. how fun! Um, right under like 15 feet. It went out to the coffee boat. Yeah, and then there was yeah a whole group of dolphins and they and they breached and started like awesome. coming up and it oh, was wow. it was super cool. Huh. How cool! So I got my mind off of that <laughs> and like oh, this good. is it, it seriously is a magical cool experience to swim out there. It and, is the and, whole entire race yeah. is a is a is yeah you could describe it like that. It's yeah, magical. It, it's, it is a special time to be here. I. I I still love the island. Still, yeah, still, still an amazing experience to mm. be here. Helmet okay, everything like that. No, so cool. I, I hit my head and scraped and scraped it, and it's a, it's a brand new laser Tardy's helmet. Oh like, man, red and white is like <laughs> this. Is like matches my kit because <laughs> you know you gotta have the matching. And yeah, my yeah, wife is like, you gotta it's match good. shoes, necessary. like the whole thing. <laughs> So I bounced my head off and I was like, ah, it's, it, it's not cracked. It should be fine. And uh, my wife's like, no, you're not using it. And, but my bike, uh, so my, I had to take my bike into the local bike shop here and they're checking it over. Um, I'm, yeah. s- I still got to go get that right after this. And you said there was some carbon damage. Yeah. yeah. It, there's a chunk of carbon out of it. And what do you uh, ride? Uh, felt DA 2009. Yeah. And um, what's the, what size do you ride? 51. 51. Yeah. So cool. I've had that for six years. What wheels do you have on there? A Zip 808s, brand new. <laughs> nice. And tires? Uh, GP 5000s. What size tires? Uh, the 23s. And do you know what pressure you run on the tires? I run a 90. 90. Right at 90, yeah. Cool. On both, yeah. We can backtrack for just one second. Did they evaluate you for a concussion? They did. Well, the, the paramedics came, police came. I had the whole light show coming. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> um, so, they, yeah, they checked me and, yeah. I, As well? Yeah. yeah. I feel, I mean... Mentally, I think I'm okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, Seem pretty just, just most mostly emotional is like I'm oh, rattled. Yeah. It's yes. mm-hmm. that's yeah. a scary thing. It, it doesn't is. Matter if mm-hmm. It's the first time. It's the nerves. So yeah. plus the nerves of the race, and yeah. now I'm stressing about it. my bike. It's just a lot of extra stuff. Of course, that, yeah. mm-hmm. of course. Uh, what do you run for a saddle on that bike? Oh, uh, the ISM Atomo. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I've had that for. Yeah, since I've got the bike for five or six years. Yeah, like that's awesome. Yeah. What do you run uh, for a power meter on the bike and uh, the drivetrain? Power to max. Okay. Yep. And it just it just works. Yeah. It's, mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. Never had a problem with it. It just works. Do yep. you know what cassette you have on the back and what? Uh, Fifty. You have on the back? I, I use the uh, uh, oval um, Q ring. Oh, nice. Uh, Fifty three thirty nine. Okay. In the front, and I just changed to a. I uh, had an eleven thirty nine and boulder and st george and then i i decided to change to a the 12 whatever the next one 12 20 12 28 yeah somewhere whatever, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah to a better a little bit better climbing cool mm-hmm. so i just changed that nice recently get a little bit more yeah just a little bit better climbing so. nice uh what drivetrain do you have on there uh it's ultegra but it's it's an older bike it's a 2009 right so it's, it it's also oh, so the model that's a year 
I gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's an it's an older bike. It's it's the is older. It, is it mechanical or yeah. electric? Cool. Oh yeah, it's it's the click click click. click. Yeah. Nice. Bar- I don't have to I don't have to reach down to the to the top two. And <laughs> not shift that old. Yeah, yeah, not that old, but it is. Cool. It's awesome. It, yeah. I, it, it, it fits me though. It's, it's, I have a mechanical it's my Integra on my TT bike, and it works great. Yeah, mm-hmm. it works just it fine. Just works. Yep, absolutely. Uh, okay, let me think on the. Oh, how are you carrying the nutrition on your bike? I got a one up front. The uh, the arrow bent over. Yeah, the with the straw. Okay. And then the quick fill. Got it. Oh, and then I got the two in the back. Okay. Um, and then I'll I'll change out. I'll change out. At special needs for two more. Okay. And then I'll just supplement on the course with Gatorade or water. So you're all needed. fluids? Yeah. Yeah, completely. Will you be taking in any solids on the bike? Um, I might. It's so hard when my heart rate's at like 140, you know, right yeah. by sweet spot. And I, I I, have to force myself to take down one cliff bar, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And what, what, do you have a pacing goal for the bike course? I mean, it's so different here with the yeah. heat and everything else, but. So I'm hoping that the elevation from Salt Lake down to sea level mm-hmm. cancels out the heat. I don't know if it will. <laughs> I like where your head's at. I don't know. <laughs> so maybe what, about 5% is what you should have, like a 5% boost in elevation? Come, or I guess That's what I'm the hoping. elevation change and then heat, it's all relative. Yeah, to so I'm trying to, I, I'm hoping for a similar bike split as I had a boulder. Yeah. Um, Because I have been doing the heat training in the sauna four days a week. 30 to 40 minutes as chad here described like yeah. prescribes Perfect. Kill it, killing it so <laughs> awesome. i yeah i am your student <laughs> does, it, does it feel overwhelmingly hot here in no any way? no yeah. I f- it feels i mean i do start to sweat a lot earlier i'm um, yeah. just yeah. like everyone does yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, it feels overwhelmingly hot to everybody else here yeah. i'm sure yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. but it's not like yeah. Yeah, it's the, I feel like the heat training has helped in the, the song. That's awesome. Cool. So, How long have you been doing that? Uh, after Boulder, I started pretty much three weeks after. Wow. And I was I was putting on. I have a few pictures of me like in a rain jacket. I have like three layers on. Yeah. In yes. my in, on trainer road with a heater right next to me, no fan. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Trying to do pet it. Yeah. <laughs> Heart rates at like one seventy. <laughs> hard, right? It's crazy. Yeah, the easiest workout suddenly yeah. becomes so but, hard. Yeah, like it, it's come down a little bit over time. Good, uh, but cool. yeah, if you look at my, I look at me doing pet it a few times. You're like, yeah, this heart rate's a little too high for this. <laughs> yeah, I'll check that it should out. just be yeah. an easy 60, 60 what five percent. I have right. Rate, so what are you doing for a helmet then? Since that's changed, I got a few friends here in town. Um, cool. Yeah, I got it for every man. Jack hooked me up with a, a nice helmet, and then uh, my Garmin watch broke as well. Oh no! <laughs> so I had to scrounge up like, and it's an old. It's the nine twenty. Yeah. Um. So one of my friends here from the Salt Lake Tri Club, uh, let me borrow his. Cool. So and then my shoes also got. I got a giant hole in my shoe, but from, like, yeah, yeah, from slide. the crash from sliding. Yeah. Yeah. But like I was telling you about my MacGyver skills earlier, yeah. mm-hmm. I was able to use some electrical tape. Electrical nice. tape and is like knife. the best yeah. thing it's ever. Amazing, yeah. So I just did a few a few laps of that around my shoe and nice because I've had those shoes for like se- for seven years too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not, not the day not so, changing no. those on race. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm what gonna, shoes do you have? Oh, they're Bont Sub Nines. Okay, mm-hmm. um, yeah. They're full. They're full carbon um, bottoms, but I nice. got them for like I think forty or fifty bucks. Nice. Seven years ago. <laughs> Because um, I was yeah, yeah cheap back then, but they they fit. <laughs> yeah, I'm like they fit. They're great. Everything works for me. How about the run? Let's go into that. What shoes do you use? Uh, I I use the Hoka Carbon X's. Okay. Um, and I've never fell in love with the shoe right away. Yeah. But this one I did. Okay. I'm, I'm a Hoka guy. I through and through with. Um, I've transitioned to them. Yeah. Pretty much exclusively, and uh, I love all their shoes. Yeah. But this one is amazing um and i just fell in love with it right away as like a carbon plate in it yeah yeah yeah, do you feel that it adds the spring to your stuff yeah 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 i might be mental but hey it doesn't doesn't matter matter. (laughs) yeah so i'll be running that and um i'll have some arm some the armbands on or the sleeves sleeves sun sleeves basically yeah i'll wear those for the bike too okay Okay. yeah and what Um, kit will you be wearing on the bike um it'll be a hub well it was it was going to be a hyper threads this brand new hyper threads yeah. one that I got from from the Hive bike shop in Salt Lake. Um and it's ruined but it's now. Enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I have a backup one that uh, it's a red, white, and blue hub. Cool. Um Dave's I think Dave Scott one. Um, okay. And, and still nice and new one. Is it short sleeves? Yeah, sleeves? it's long sleeve. Okay. So so yeah, yeah say- down to my to your elbows, elbow. yeah. Okay. And I'll have the arm sleeves down so I can wet those. Hmm. Okay. 
And then will it be two piece or one piece? One piece. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, on the runner, are you gonna re- wear anything for shade? Um, yeah, just this, yeah. I'll wear this hat. Nice. Um, and then um, Hoka, it's a white hat for yeah. those that are listening. Yeah, a white to hat. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's got the vents in the back. And yeah. then Hoka was giving out these nice neck scarves. Oh, good. But they have they have like an opening. Uh huh. Um, so like you can a, put ice oh, in nice. it. Yeah, you can like un- un- fill it up Velcro and then just it, stuff and down your put shirt. Some, um, ice in it. Ooh. And then just wrap it right around your neck. So I'm gonna I'll throw that on too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. So. Any other strategies for cooling that you plan to employ? No. Um. Just yeah. I'll, I'll, I have a little water bottle that I carry with me. Um. With a hand strap, and um. I'll take mm-hmm. in about 24 ounces an hour, and. And what will you be drinking on that? EFS. Okay. Yeah. Same and stuff. Then, then. And I'll start with a highly concentrated. Okay. It'll it'll have uh, 350 calories in it. Okay. Um. And then I'll just each aid station. I'll just dilute it. As whatever I drink, I'll just mm-hmm. open it up and have them <laughs> fill it up with water. Got it for me, and then it'll get diluted. So, are you planning to stop at all aid stations, or just when? You just feel, when I need it. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah. But again, I, this is my first time here. I don't know how the heat's going to affect me. Honestly, yeah. I don't know how it's going to go. Especially, I my with my accident. Yeah. Um, my hip has been pretty stiff, and just yeah. walking around. I was going to go run, but I'm like, I, it was pretty stiff, and yeah. I have a limp right now. So, I'm not sure how that's going to go tomorrow. Yeah. Makes a tough day a little bit tougher. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll be cheering for you. Thank you. I'm sure. It'll be fun to cheer you on. Uh, Pete and I will be running all over the place with people coming in and out uh, for the company and family and stuff, but uh, we're going to be cheering you Good. on. Mm-hmm. It'll be awesome. Yeah. Uh, Nate, who would you like to thank for getting here? Because I'm sure you have plenty of folks that have helped you get here. Oh, yeah. Well, my wife is like the first, of course. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's, yeah, she's a cook. She's, you saw she was my Uber driver here. <laughs> um, but, I mean, having that steady, consistent home life is is key. Um, yeah. And then uh, the Salt Lake Tri Club and, and the Hive Bike Shop, um, they've been a huge support to me um, back in Utah. Cool. Um, but, yeah, that's those guys are awesome. And then just that's all that's all I've got for that. Cool. Awesome. Who do you think is going to win the pro men and pro women? Um, well, I, I'm a Lionel Sanders fan. Of course. Oh, okay. I, I love yeah. that guy. He's <laughs> nitty and gritty, man. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. So, uh, well, Daniel Reif, Reif is going to win the women. Yeah. Um, Daniel, it's tough. It's hard to be yeah. um, <laughs> Lucy, I, yeah. Everybody loves Lucy, but I, she'll come in a close second, I think. I think she'll close the gap a little bit, but over I don't, last year. Uh, yeah. I don't think she's going to come close to Danielle. Cool. Um, it's so. awesome. Yeah. Perfect. Do you have any other questions, guys? I think so. I think we covered it. Yeah. yeah. If you yeah. have questions, I, oh, yeah, go ahead. I am your biggest fan though. Like, <laughs> I, I am coming here to, I should collect a paycheck from you guys though. So I'm like, <laughs> I've sold your guys program to several of my friends. Like awesome. they are Thank just, you, man. yeah, that's like, amazing. Everybody, if they even talk, like I'll, I'll be in a business meeting and somehow we'll get, I'll transition it to trainer road. Like, <laughs> They're like, no, that's not what we're talking about. No, we're talking about Trainer Road. <laughs> so, Thank you, man. You, you, yeah, honestly, awesome. the best, the best product that to this sport ever. I mean, Thanks, it is man. game changer, yeah. like through and through. The I best thing that has happened to me it's, in this sport, and that's the only reason I'm I'm here at Kona is because of Trainer Road. Uh, it's yeah, awesome. So, it's awesome yeah. to see you. Just, so, uh, Thank you guys for sure. <laughs> Very welcome. Of course. Yes. Of course. If you have questions for Nate and you want to find out something about his setup, maybe how he's going to pace nutrition, or if you want to find out how he's rebounding from the crash, something like that, you can head over to forum.trainerroad.com and you can type in his last name. It'll be easy to find. Because if you type in Nate, you're going to find a whole lot of other yeah. things. Yeah, different so. ones. <laughs> Zarlingo. Yeah. Not Zarlingo. Z A R L E N G O. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, those videos of the crash are on my Instagram if, if, you're, Ooh, if you want to cool. see it. Or we'll throw those on yeah. there for sure. On here. Where are you at on Where are you at on Instagram? It's uh, X Eight Frog X A T E F R O G G. Or I think you can just search my name too. Cool, right? Yeah, um, yeah. That's how I found you. So. Yeah, cool. So it's yeah, it's on awesome. There for, well, thank you so much. Yeah, it's been an honest pleasure. I, yeah, um, I really course. appreciate it. You guys are celebrities to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't wait to see how it goes tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'll be traveling, but I'll be checking in. Great. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks, everybody.